space, the final frontier, where no dino charge reindeer has gone before, and will never have been. Just kidding. Ivan, Tyler, and Kendall did go into space, though outside the Earth's atmosphere would be the prime example of how far they went outside of the planet. And they all had their reasons, but let's move on to the episode Silver Secret, which was revealed less than 10 minutes into the episode, so some secret. But let's move on to the B story. A New Zealand boy band has decided to have an audition at the museum, and not a theater where their ac the acoustics would sound better. Wow, Savan, you can't afford a small stage or something for the audition? Whatever. Where Shelby accidentally was got putting on one of the band members, Rata. That is the most stupidest name to give to a person ever. One syllable difference, you, you a hole! Anyway, Tyler gets a little jealous about. What's going on with Shelby wanting to join the boy band? But, let's move away from the drama and move on to the bigger drama. The Silver Ranger has escaped! The, well, escaped prison, imprisonment. And the Rangers went to rescue him. And as soon as the Silver Ranger revealed that he had nine of the Chargers, Tyler noticed something's not right here. Because since last episode, Rescue for Disaster, they found the type number 10, the Titano Charger. And when the Silver Ranger says, I have nine, some suspicions raises up. Well, a lot of that back and forth of who's telling the truth and who's lying, Silver Ranger just revealed himself to be Doomwing, who has the Silver Energem. And they have a massive fight to which they're all losing the Doomwing. And just before Doomwing is about to do the finishing blow, I... He shows himself to be Xenowing, the actual Silver Ranger. Though, fun fact, in the Sentai version, he's the actual leader, not Keeper. <laughs> he's doing the I will not hurt them, but Doomwing got back in control, tackles Tyler, and implants a listening device on the... They must have been using this as a cell phone, even though it has a use for storing their weaponry. Those little battery weapons. So they never actually explain what this truly is. And if it wasn't for Tyler to pick up the phone to tell the Kendall, he would have noticed the listening device. The idea? They put it in a fish tank. With running water. So the monster's thinking, they're either at a river or in the bathroom. As they start forming a plan of how to separate the two. Back at the singing part... Shelby is practicing her singing while Kendall's basically playing teacher. And Tyler's doing the same thing with Chase. And we learn Tyler has stage fright. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. No, he's doing his audition, and yet he knows he has stage fright doing it. During that whole time, Shelby starts singing, and it's proven she's a good singer. Tyler starts singing, and he's a crappy singer. Until Shelby went back up saying, this is a duet. Uh, well, and she gives him some helpful advice. Stating, imagine everyone as pineapples. So I'm taking a guess the underwear thing couldn't been used. Imagine everyone as pineapples. And they start singing. Perfectly well. But back to the A plot. They decided to find a way to split the two in half by using these... Triangle-like devices. It looks more like a, just a steel triangle. Whatever. They just have... Tyler's going to get Doomwing into this spot during the fight. And then all four beams hit and basically split the two in half. Okay? And just before he's about to do the battle, they decide to do some phony acting to tell Doomwing where they're located. Which would be funny, because of the fact that they're doing horrible acting job, and yet they are basically, it's more of like a massive, actors acting badly while being actors. Tyler is about to do the battle, and Shelby just explains that Tyler is a rock star for what he's doing. 
even if he has stage fright, he was able to know what's going on with Doomwing, able to handle the situation, and find all these other ways of round stuff. Basically giving him more of a proud feeling. The battle commenced, and they split the two in half, which was a good thing and a bad thing. Good news, they got Xenowing. Bad news, Doomwing has the energy. During the battle, they made Doomwing huge, which leads to the big question of what bird is he? I mean, Doomwing referred to himself as a chicken, and the Rangers refer to him as a turkey. It will take me a while to... I will get back to the research to know what type of bird he is. Because, what's next? Pheasant? I don't know any other birds that we eat at this right this second. They summon the massive new Zord. And, yeah, I'm going to be using a clip from the Sentai version, but what they did to him best describes as a meme. I didn't kill Doomling, though. He just shrunk back and ran off. We also learned from the from Lord Archon that since Doomwing can't morph into a ranger because he's evil, so these Energems have rules, and yet Sludge was able to use him as a weapon. So mm. maybe it's because of the fact that as if you're trying to use him for morphing, you have to be good. But if you want to use him as a weapon, go right ahead, do it. <laughs> Let's see what else happened. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to remember everything off the bat. I didn't write. I didn't bring my notes with me. The end of the composition ended, and some random female who was crying during the audition made the cut. And Rata explained he only needed one female to the group, and he offered Shelby for a date, which she declined. And it ended with, well, it's not actually mentioned, but it's hinted that these two are now dating, with them just walking back to the lab with their holding hands. Well, for those who are just waiting for those two to end up in a relationship, this was the episode that finished this whole playing around with each other. And, okay, Lord Archon, question. You need all the Energems for what purpose, and yet you have the Silver Energem, and you're not going to use it just because of the fact that you can't use it as a weapon or something? I wonder what's going on with Lord Archon's plans. It's nice to see that they finally have their 10th member. Now they just need to learn how to get the energy from Doomwing back to Xenowing. Can't wait to see how the next episode is going to go. The usual story for this. At least they're smart enough not to do the whole being tricked by the enemy as soon as they brought him into his bait, to their base. He basically reveals himself. That's at least to the bright side. And the music competition wasn't really that needed. Just only to end up, uh, will these two finally get together? Stay tuned for next week's episode of the vlogs as I find out more what's going on. Hopefully, it'll do a better job with the B story than the A story. Till then, this is Rasa. The loot anime box came in. Hiding right now.